Hello, this is your girl, Lock Lotus from Goddess Blog Media, and I am here to give you an update on the maintenance method I decided on for my lock journey. I want to invite you to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. So let's get into it. As you know, and for some of you that have joined the page based on this, I was looking deeply into the knotted lock method. I had actually stopped getting my reties and decided to give myself a chance to allow enough new growth to be able to get the knotted lock method with Miss Melissa Blake. So as I am continuing to look and look through hours and hours of content, hours and hours of video, and just kind of, you know, scroll through the page, see all the things, I started to see other maintenance methods that I wanted to explore. So what I did was I started to look at those. So I'm going to share with you today three lock methods. And at the end of this video, I'm going to let you know which one I chose. So the first method, which is the method that you guys were looking to see if I would do or not, but I'm going to talk about this one first, was the knotted knot method. And that is a method that was created by Beautiful Soul out of London. Um, her name is Miss Melissa Blake. And she used to be a Sister Lock consultant, but came up with her own method, which is an answer to Sister Locks when it comes to your thinning and things like that, the things that people notice with their locks after an extended period of time. Um, her method is the answer to thinning locks and frequent reties and um, schedule as far as um, getting your reties on a schedule of six to eight weeks. So with her method, you have to wait at least three months to have enough new growth to start the knotted lock method. She allows you to join her in a Zoom for a paid training where she shows you how to knot your hair in a way to maintenance it. And you only have to do this for four times a year. So I think she says like once a season. So that sounds like really good to me. I was like extremely excited about that. I absolutely love that idea. That is what, that was one of the things that really got me on the knotted lock um, journey of exploring and considering it for my maintenance going forward. Um, I started to really dig into that method and below you will find some links and some hashtags and some information that I found when I was researching it. You can do your own research and see if that's something that you want to do for yourself and for your locks. That is method number one, the knotted lock method is a method that I am considering. Method number two was a method that I really didn't think of using this method for micro locks or sister locks. I've always been told that doing a retwist on locks this small wouldn't be a good idea, that they would break, but I also was told a lot of things when I got sister locks and I learned that that was different. So that is another method that I ran across and I do have some information linked below where you can actually do your research on that method and how it looks. I found a couple of influencers, but then I also found a loctician that applies that to her own locks. And her locks are absolutely beautiful. I was running through Instagram trying to just do my own research on just different lock, lock methods and you know, just learn what I need to learn. And I ran across her page. So I'm going to link her page in the description below so you can check it out and see how you feel about that method. But I did try to <laughs> retwist my locks and uh, throughout this journey of just the waiting of until I get to the three months where uh, Miss Melissa Blake could do my consultation and teach me the knotted lock method. So while just trying to, you know, do a little taming on my locks, I tried the retwist and it is a lot. And I did not realize how I do not like doing my own hair. <laughs> I don't like doing it. It's a lot of locks. I don't know if I like holding my hands up that long, like up in my head. I don't know if I really want to do that, but the retwist turned out pretty good. Maybe if I do it in the future, I'll show you, but the retwist turned out really, really good. Method to do for maintenance of some level of grooming without doing a retie. So that is something to consider, but definitely check out the links below so you can do your own research and see if that is a method that you will be interested in trying on your lock journey. Third method, and I'm just gonna say this disclaimer 
really quick. The third method is for entertainment purposes only. I ran across a, a young lady's page when I was looking for knotted lock information and she was speaking on knotted locks and I totally agree with her when she says that knotted locks is about to be a thing. Like a lot of people are going to get them and it is coming and it's coming fast and I agree. I definitely agree with that. It is a thing that's coming and a lot of people are going to entertain that method. But for her, she uses an adhesive on her locks. <laughs> Crazy glue. <laughs> Honestly, I looked through the video and watched her maintenance her hair with the crazy glue for my own entertainment and I really was intrigued. I was intrigued. I wanted to understand and know how she did it and I'm actually impressed but it's not anything that I would consider but I did link her information below if you just kind of want to check it out you know to be a little nosy and you never know because when I checked out the messages or checked out the the comments that the people put in her under the video when she showed how she did the maintenance it was some people that was kind of interested they were they was kind of on board with it a lot of people was like girl you crazy doing you know putting crazy glue on your locks but there was uh, a few people, little sprinkles of people that was really interested in the method and wanted to learn more. So you never know. And I'm not, you know, on this channel, I'm not really counseling out anything. I'm allowing people to empower them to find their own method that works for them while I find mine. So I did link her information below and you can check it out and see, see what you want to see. Entertainment purposes only. I do not recommend you put adhesive on your locks, but hey, it is what it is. So as the time is winding down and I am now to a space where I have enough new growth for the training with Miss Melissa Blake, I was trying to just kind of ponder what do I want to do? And I don't know, do I want to do the knotted locks? Do I want to do the retwist method? I know I'm not doing adhesive. What do I want to do? But what I did was I took information from these ladies and formulated my own maintenance method. I did go back to my original loctician, the one that I told you that I canceled all of my appointments. She absolutely loved me, y'all, and I love her too. Side note, I was her lock crush. And I didn't even know it. When I sent her a picture of my hair, because I was considered a transfer client, she wanted to know how many locks I had. She wanted to see my locks and see the condition that they were in. And I just sent her my Instagram page. And when she <laughs> texted me back, she was like, oh my gosh, you're my, my, my lock crush. I follow you on Pinterest. And I was like, oh wow, that is like, <laughs> that's, that's crazy. But that was cool. She gladly took me in for a consult. And this is how it went. Check this out. So what's your suggestion? Okay, so what we want to do is go for a fuller look, less stress here at the top. So instead of combining the locks, I would suggest that we do a reverse three up here since your, your curl pattern is, it's a tighter curl pattern. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the times when people run into the reverse three, it looks like there's a hole mm -hmm. and then it's interlocked and then there's a hole. Okay. With your tighter curl pattern, it's not going to look like that. Okay. It'll basically open the lock up to allow for more expansion and we won't... Uh, tighten as closely to the scalp. Okay, so we'll leave that last rotation. Right, leave the last rotation open, change the front pattern to the reverse three instead of combining because we don't want them, these to be double the sizes back here. Right. Um, and then for back here, we'll just stick with the three. Okay. Because you can you can see actually from here to here the thickness difference. That's where, that's where we had actually changed your pattern. Okay, okay. When you run your finger down to... There, yes, you can I did it. I, I mean, yes, I, it's, it's, it's definitely a line of demarcation. Mm -hmm. It's, it's yep, yeah, some, something different happens, right? Yeah, you can probably see it. Yeah, you can actually, you can see it. I don't know if you, you can see from here to here, and it's not just the color, it's actual thickness that changes, right? Oh, there. wow. So, as y'all can see, the thickness, put your hand behind it, the thickness changes with the pattern. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, okay. Got you. Because we want a fuller lock, less tension at the scalp, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're going to do our three months in between. Yep. Change the pattern rotation. Mm -hmm. And then leave that last rotation. Right. All right. Yep. Ah! Dana is back in the chair. Boop! <laughs> <laughs> My lock journey shenanigans. Hey, it is what it is. I got to figure this thing out, not only for me, but for my clients as well. So this is what we're going to start with. 
So um, I'll keep y'all posted. So as you can see, ah, I forgot that I had asked her about thinning and I think I had more of a density issue at the top than anything else. But I changed, we changed my interlocking method a while back. And as you can see in the video, it changed the thickness of my lock. And I do remember that when I took the sister lock class and I remember her telling me that, but I just didn't think about it anymore until we went back and she reminded me that we had changed the pattern. And then as you can see, you can see the difference in the lock thickness. So for anybody that is not in the uh, mood of changing your method and you still want to get interlocking, understand that the locking method also has a role to play in the thickness and the diameter of the lock. So you can discuss that with your loctician. When you first go to get your sister lock installed, they'll usually tell you which rotation pattern is going to be the best for your hair. But the rotation pattern can be changed. The rotation pattern you start with may not be the rotation pattern that you end up with. So if you want a thicker lock, you can change the rotation pattern, discuss it with whoever is doing your rotations and see which one is going to be better for you as far as more thickness. So as you can see, I had more thickness with the new rotation that she gave me. That's that. So <laughs> now that you see that I am going to continue to get my reties in a sense, and I'm going to give myself enough time to allow my follicle to rest. So I do agree with Miss Melissa Blake when she says how your follicle needs an opportunity to rest and three months is a good time frame. So I'm going to adopt that uh, knowledge and apply it to my lock journey and I'm gonna give myself three months in between. And as you can see, <laughs> I was um, fortunate enough to have a loctician that is willing to wait that three months with me, apply my maintenance without any, you know, any little backlash. Whatever she's charging, I'm paying it because truthfully, I really don't want to maintenance my own head. So that kind of helped me when it came to the knotted lock journey because I know it is a DIY method and I'm just not really a DIYer. Even when I went natural, I really didn't do a lot with my natural hair. Like you'll see, you know, YouTubers do like the different natural hairstyles and, you know, they got the time lapse and they just doing and getting it in and I just, I never really did that with my locks. I'll do, you know, I'll throw in some flexi rods or something like that, do a, a braid out or something like that. Something really quick, but I've never been a DIYer for a long-term session of anything. So that was one thing that I also had to consider when it came to me making a decision on how I wanted to go with my locks. So the three months is definitely something that I want to adopt for myself and um, changing the pattern to make sure my locks in the front, because I feel like the locks in the front from my ear to ear, I feel like they are a little less dense, produces a, a, a smaller lock in diameter. So the fact that we're changing that pattern to make sure we get a thicker lock, I'm really enjoying that. As far as my combining, I'm going to chill on that. That is still kind of in the front of my priority list right now, but I am going to chill on it. I'm going to give everything that we're doing new an opportunity to show itself to see if that is, if my new method is something that is going to help me in my journey or if I need to tailor it a little more. So combining is still in the front of it, but we're going to give it a chance and allow my locks to speak and say, hey, I do like this or I do not. So that is what I'm going to do with that. In the consultation, we had said that we were going to leave the last rotation available for room. And after we turned the video off, we decided we're going to leave two rotations at the end. So that is my new lock maintenance method. We're going to wait three months in between. We're going to adjust my rotations to produce a thicker lock. And we're going to leave two rotations open to allow uh, more room and not as much tension at the scalp. So I'm excited. I'm excited about it. I'm excited to continue to show this journey. I hope this helps. And I am very excited. I go and see my loctician on April 9th. So by the time I get to her, I will be at four 
months and <laughs> I am excited. But I will say this, I did think about the 12 weeks that I go in between my retires. Now I did consider getting a retwist, but I will not be doing it. I will have a friend of mine that does locks, maybe have her to do it. I'll have my daughter to do it. Somebody is gonna do it, but I don't wanna do it. I got my feel for it when I did it, you know, on my own. And I really am not the DIYer like that as I learned, so. Maybe I'll show you how that looks when I get enough new growth. I don't know. Maybe I'll try to show it before I get my maintenance because this is really a good time to show it. I really have, like, when I tell you, I have a good amount of new growth. Like, it is really, 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 really hitting. You can see a little bit of the twist from when I did the twist, but... I have a good amount, as you can see. Like, I can stick my finger through the new growth. I have a really good amount of new growth there. So, you know, if you check out the uh, the adhesive video, you'll see that she takes she takes her, her locks after about four or five months, and she takes the two, and she twists it down to, it has that little bitty hole there, and she, boop. <laughs> I can't do it. Y'all, that is so crazy, but check out, check it out. Check the whole video out. Why not? <laughs> I can't believe it. Like, I mean, we be getting it out here. We are very innovative. We are resourceful. And I love the fact that she stepped out and did what she felt like was good for her and her log journey no matter what you know and truthfully i empower you all to do the same thing whatever wherever you're being led go in that direction make sure you do a thorough check on whatever it is that you're trying to do to make sure you're getting what you need to get and it works for you your lifestyle your pocket and your capabilities okay that's for the diyers <laughs> So we hope this video helped and stay tuned.